The motions. I call the clerk to read the next item of business. General Business Notice of Motion for Bills Number 4, Introduction of the Criminal Records Amendment to Historical Homosexual Offences Bill. Thank you. I call the member for Coogee. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move that a bill be now introduced for an act to amend the Criminal Records Act 1991 to enable certain convictions for a number of decriminalised homosexual sexual conduct offences to become extinguished. Thank you. The question is that this bill be now introduced. All of that opinion say aye. The question no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Madam Speaker, I bring up the bill and I move that this bill now be read for a second time. Until 1984, the Crimes Act 1900 contained a number of so-called unnatural offences, prohibiting male homosexual activity. These offences applied to both consensual and non-consensual conduct. Some people engaging in homosexual activity were convicted of other offences, such as indecent or offensive behaviour offences. In 1984, the Crimes Amendment Act 1984 decriminalised consensual male homosexual activity for people over the age of 18 years. Further, further legislative reform occurred in 2003 when the Crimes Amendment Sexual Offences Act lowered the age of consent for male homosexual activity from 18 to 16 years. These amendments to the criminal law demonstrated a well-founded desire on the part of this parliament to reflect the expectations of the wider community. Madam Speaker, no longer were homosexual acts between consenting adults uh, seen as requiring the intervention of the criminal law. No longer did the community see homosexual men, or more broadly, members of the GLBTI community, as lesser members of the Australian community. While consensual homosexual activity between people over the age of consent is no longer a criminal offence, Men who were previously convicted of these offences still have to deal with the stigma of a criminal conviction for a sex offence. Such a conviction can constrain employment opportunities, volunteering options and overseas travel options for them. The exist existence of convictions for these historical offences perpetuates the discrimination suffered by these men despite the discriminatory laws having been repealed. The bill before this House today amends the Criminal Records Act of 1991 to permit a person convicted of specified offences to apply for the conviction to be extinguished. Applications will be made for convictions for offences such as procuring an indecent act with a male and buggery. Applications will also be able to be made for convictions for indecent or offensive behaviour uh, in, for offensive behaviour offences for sexual activity with another person of the same sex. Applications will be made to the Secretary of the Department of Justice. A conviction will be extinguished if the Secretary is satisfied that the other person consented to the sexual activity and was at least the current age of consent. This is 16 years, unless there was a special care relationship where the offender was, for example, the step-parent school teacher or health professional of the other, other person, in which case the age is 18 years. Mr Speaker, when, where an application has been made, the Secretary will obtain records about the conviction from public agencies, such as the New South Wales Police and the courts, and will make a decision based on the application and the records. If the Secretary intends to reject the application on the basis of this information, the Secretary will give the applicant the opportunity to submit further, further information. In the event that the decision of the Secretary has been unfavourable, an applicant will be able to seek administrative review of a decision by the New South Wales Civil and Administrative Tribunal. If an application is successful, the conviction will be extinguished and the consequences will be similar to a quashed conviction or a pardon. The person will no longer be required to disclose the conviction, and a public authority will not be able to disclose the conviction. Mr Speaker, the Criminal Records Act of 1991 already provides for, con for convictions for a relatively minor offence to become spent and so not disclosable if the person completes a period of crime-free behaviour. However, 
The exceptions that apply to spent convictions in the Criminal Records Act of 1991 will not apply. This means, for example, that extinguished convictions will not be disclosable for applications for appointment as a judge, a police officer or teacher, or for court proceedings. The new process allowing applications to be made for these convictions to be extinguished will be in addition to the existing spent conviction scheme. While it was generally men engaging in homosexual activity who were prosecuted for these offences, it is possible that women engaging in homosexual activity were also prosecuted for indecent or offensive behaviour offences. The bill will also allow women and transgender people to apply for convictions to be extinguished. The bill contains a note that it is an offence under the Crimes Act to knowingly provide false or misleading information in an application to a public authority. The bill also provides for the Secretary of the Department of Justice to determine that a conviction is no longer extinguished if the application contained false or misleading information. I'd just like to acknowledge in the gallery, Mr Speaker, today Dr Justin Coonan of the New South Wales Gay and Lesbian Rights Lobby, who has been of great assistance in the drafting of this bill. Now, I'll provide a little more detail at this point on the bill. The bill now before the House amends the Criminal Records Act 1991. Clause 19b of the bill enables a person who has been convicted of an eligible homosexual offence to apply to the Secretary of the Department of Justice for the conviction to become extinguished. If the convicted person has died, an application may be made on behalf of the person by the convicted person's legal personal representative or a spouse a de facto partner, parent or child of the convicted person, or a person who is in a close personal relationship with the convicted person immediately before the convicted person's death. Clause 19c provides that a conviction for an eligible homosexual offence becomes an extinguished conviction when the secretary decides that he or she is satisfied that the other person involved in the sexual activity constituting the offence was a Consented, had, uh, had A consented to the sexual activity and B was above the age of 16 years or if the other person was under the special care of the convicted person within the meaning of the section 73.3 of the Crimes Act 1900, the age of 18 years. Applications will be made to the Secretary of the Department of Justice and decisions will be reviewable by the New South Wales Civil and Administrative Tribunal. The consequences of a conviction becoming an extinguished conviction are set out in Clause 19F of the Bill. If a conviction of a person is extinguished, firstly, the person is not required to disclose to any other person for any purpose information concerning the extinguished conviction and Secondly, a question concerning the person's criminal history is taken not to refer to any convictions of the person which are extinguished convictions. And the effect of extinguishment goes further, however. Clause 19G of the Bill provides that it is an offence for a person who has access to records of convictions kept by or on behalf of a public authority to, without lawful authority, to, close, to disclose to any other person any, any information concerning an extinguished conviction. The offence carries a maximum pen penalty of 50 penalty units or imprisonment for six months or both. Additionally, Clause 19H makes it an offence for a person to fraudulently or dishonestly obtain or attempt, attempt to obtain information concerning an extinguished conviction from records of convictions kept by or on behalf of a public authority. The offence carries a maximum penalty of 50 penalty units or imprisonment for six months or both. Mr Speaker, a number of other jurisdictions have already acted to allow convictions for historical homosexual offences to be extinguished. The United Kingdom passed the Protection of Freedoms Act 2012 UK, allowing people convicted of an historical offence involving conceptual homosexual activity with another person aged at least 16 years to apply to the Home Secretary for the conviction or caution to be disregarded. 
Subsequently, the South Australian Parliament passed the Spent Convictions Decriminalised Offences Act 2013, South Australia, to allow historical convictions for offences constituted by homosexual acts that are no longer criminal offences to be spent. Applications in that scheme are made to a magistrate and the scheme commenced on the 22nd of December 2013. In 2014, the Human Rights Law Centre released a report writing historical wrongs, calling for a legislative scheme to expunge convictions for historical consensual gay sex offences in Victoria. The Victorian Government introduced a bill into Parliament this week to enable the expungement of historical convictions for consensual homosexual acts. Mr Speaker, the bill before the House introduces an administrative scheme similar to the one in the United Kingdom. This will be less costly for both the applicant and the state than requiring an application to be made to a court. Equally importantly, it will also be less stressful for applicants, especially given their previous court experience for the relevant offence. Another advantage of the administrative scheme is that it will allow the Secretary to set up administrative processes with the New South Wales Police and the courts for obtaining records going back many decades. Madam Speaker, Ms Anne Brown of the Human Rights Law Centre has observed, legislating to abolish the leftover convictions will start to heal the harm that these discriminatory laws have caused. Sex between consenting adults should never have been criminalised. Mr Speaker, no one should have to continue to suffer the disadvantage of having a criminal conviction for sexual activity with another consenting adult. This bill allows these convictions to be extinguished and delivers a socially just and responsible outcome. Mr Speaker, I commend the bill to the House. Mm -hmm.